So you might be trying to figure out how you can factory reset your iPhone on iOS 17 or iPad OS 17 if you have an iPad. Now, doing this is actually very, very basic, and it's the same way to do it whether you're on an iPad or an iPhone. So what you're going to want to do first of all is you want to go and make your way over to your settings application. So go ahead and just open up settings like I just did right here. And what you're going to want to do now is you want to basically scroll down until you see your general settings. So go ahead and tap on general settings right there. And then what you want to do when you're in this panel is you basically want to scroll down until you see a little option that says transfer or reset iPhone. So all you're going to want to do here is go and click on transfer or reset iPhone and you'll come into this next panel. Now what you're going to want to do here is you want to go ahead and tap on erase all content and settings. Now, before you do this, what I would recommend doing is just making sure you've backed up your iPhone, make sure you've, or your iPad, make sure you've, you know, make sure you've just saved all the information that you can within your device, because if you haven't, and that's basically going to be the main problem that you're going to be running into. So just make sure that you have everything on your phone backed up, make sure everything like that is the case, because if it's not, well, that's basically going to be the main problem. So make sure you have all the information, make sure you have all the data and everything backed up on your device. And then what you want to do, once you do that, you want to go and click erase all content and settings. So go and click on that panel and this specific panel is going to come up and it's going to say whether you want to erase this iPhone, you may have a bunch of data that it's going to tell you to back up or whatever. You can go and click continue or not now. And then another panel is going to come up, hopefully. And then, or if you click continue, you'll then basically be able to go ahead and you know skip a backup if you want to. And that's going to ask you probably for your Apple ID, you can go and type it in. And then after a few moments, once you go and go through the initial setup, your phone will then reboot and it will go ahead and basically delete everything that's within this device. So that's pretty much how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.